what we want to do is actually get the code for the part one branch. So to do that, let's copy the repos URL and inside the terminal, I want to go to my desktop and I want to run git clone dash b part one is the name of the branch and then paste the URL. So now uh, we have a new directory called awesome links. So let's cd into awesome links and um, we'll see that we are in the part one branch. So let's open it inside VS code. Uh, you can either drag and drop uh, the folder to uh, in, uh, like over VS code to open it or run code dot. So now we have the code. Let's see what we have. Inside the package.json file, we can see the following dependencies. So we have Next.js, we also have React and React DOM. And for the development dependencies, we have two Tailwind plugins, uh, one that for styling forms and one for like typography, which makes it easier to um, style like paragraphs and texts and HTML in general. And then we have uh, types for Node, React, we also have auto prefix and post CSS and Tailwind. Uh, that's just because uh, in this project we're using Tailwind CSS. And then finally we have TypeScript. So um, to install the dependencies, we need to run npm install. And what we want to do is to run npm run dev. And we should be able to go to localhost 3000 and see what the project is all about. So this is what we get. These are four links. Uh, these links are not fetched. Uh, it's just an array that we're looping over. So we have this static data uh, inside the data folder. We have a links file, which is just an array of objects where each object is a link. And then inside the pages directory, we have the index page, which is localhost 3000. Uh, what we're doing is we're importing uh, this data and we're looping over it to display it. And for these styles, we're just uh, setting up Tailwind. And then finally, in the underscore app, uh, this is like the global app component, we're just wrapping it in our layout, which contains uh, the header. And then we have a .env.example file. So we should rename this to .env. And we will see that we have a database URL, which will change to an actual database when using Prisma. Uh, but other than that, we're just configuring post CSS and also Tailwind. And then finally, there's also a tsconfig.json file. So that's it. This is a look at uh, the part one starter uh, branch. And yeah, 